Why are there so many different types of bridges? Why don't they just use one type? A bridge is a structure that can carry a road, path, railroad, or canal over rivers, canyons, and other obstacles. We need different types of bridges because every design differs in loads it will carry, what will cross it, and the earth materials. Bridges can be up to several miles long and take years to construct. They are amazing pieces of engineering and architecture. Tension and compression. Bridges use two main types of forces to carry the loads. Tension and compression. Compression is a pushing force, while tension is a pulling force. Beam bridges. A beam bridge is one type of bridge engineers and architects use. It is one of the simplest structural forms. All you need to construct a beam bridge is a rigid horizontal structure and two vertical supports, one on each end. For example, if you were to cut down an apple tree and use that wood to create a horizontal structure and two vertical supports, you now have a bridge that someone can walk on. Arch bridges. Arch bridges are made up of half circles that distribute the load gradually toward each side to the ground. They look impressive, but it's important that the connection to the ground has support from the sides, otherwise the forces will break the arch. This is why rows of arches, called arcades, are used a lot. The ancient Romans were famous for the use of arches in their bridges, and even used them to deliver water over hundreds of miles to their cities. Arch bridges are good to use when designing over a valley. Suspension bridges. Suspension bridges use a system of cables to support the structure, and because of their strength, can span up to 7,000 feet. Suspension bridges are very complex and have lots of parts, which means they can cost a lot of money. Suspension bridges can be used to span across large water masses. The road is suspended by vertical cables that hang from an even thicker cable that spans between two huge towers. The weight of cars pushed down on the bridge's deck and then travels up the cables, which transfers the load to the towers, then the towers send the load to the ground. An example of a suspension bridge is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Cable stage bridges. Cable stage bridges may look like suspension bridges, but don't let this fool you. Cable stage bridges differ from suspension bridges in that they don't require anchors or multiple towers. Instead, cables run from the roadway up to a single tower that bears the weight of the entire structure. Cable stay bridges can be used in applications that need to cross large spans. A unique example of a cable stay bridge is the Puente de Alamillo. With so many options, how do engineers and architects choose what type of bridge to use? From the beam bridge to the suspension bridge, to arch bridges and cable stay bridges. Each situation has its unique qualities, and each bridge has its strengths and weaknesses as well. It depends on several variables, including cost, location, function, and design preference. Now you are all bridge experts. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson on bridges. And go Coop!